Cody got me this thing yesterday at Eddie Bauer that uh, apparently cleans your windshield. So I just got this wet and now I'm going over the inside of it. You won't be able to tell one way or another if it works or not. But yesterday I noticed my windshield was a little dirty on the inside and I thought that was a very thoughtful gift. Welcome to the life of a YouTube vlogger who's always trying to figure out what's the best camera and setup to use. I'm trying a bunch of different things out. You can kind of see uh, what I'm going with here. I'm trying the difference between this Olympus camera or the iPhone, which I'm currently using. I use this for all my vlogs and this is what I use for my studio setup. The problem is I think maybe the iPhone actually does better and I'm trying to figure out if that's the case because that would be a real shame because I spent a lot of money on this setup here. And if this, if I'm just recording this like this, in fact, I'm not even using the, the best lens. If, uh, if this like setup like this is better than what I'm doing here, I'm gonna be a little disappointed. And this is the footage from the iPhone and you'll notice how well lit my face is because it's using HDR and all that fun stuff to make me look good, as difficult as that is. But that's what the iPhone footage looks like. And then this is the footage from my other camera. So you can kind of see the difference. I don't think it's quite as apparent on this video that you're watching now because the iPhone's trying to correct for the other video. It's trying to make this video, the second one that I shot, look like the first one that I shot. And it's it's actually doing some weird stuff. But like to my eyes, the iPhone might actually be better because this one's like super contrasty. You can't see that because it's trying to brighten it up. Uh, but this, that may actually be better. I make this such a difficult thing, but I'm literally the only person in the world that even cares about this. Everyone else is just like, Greg, just make videos, do your thing. And I'm like, oh, I'm going to make them perfect. Clark Man is over here playing tracks, the game. Premise of this game is that it's actually a train track, like simulator. So in the virtual world, you can make these crazy train tracks that you can never make in real life made of wood. I think I'm going to throw up Clark Man. I know, it's, I made it twisty and stuff. And that's, that's where it ends and everyone and there, plummets. And then and there's then, a moose. And then there's a whole bunch of mooses. We've now migrated to the world of Lego, and we're over here doing our pink and purple mock series. And Clark Man built this tiny little pink pig, which is cute and all, but I encouraged him to go bigger, and that was a big mistake because he built this, which looks great, but if you spin it around, it has a little surprise for you. <laughs> it's the butthole pig. <laughs> Terrible. Oh, yeah. <laughs> From Lego building to unpacking the video game. This game's one of the games that you'd play if you just kind of want to chill and relax. It's not violent. There's no enemies. There's no, like, dying. It's just just unpacking. You see all these boxes here? You start pulling stuff out of there, and then you just got to put stuff places. Yeah, she's a gamer for sure. That's a GameCube, dude. A GameCube? Yeah, that's a GameCube. What else we got? Controller for the GameCube. Put that with the controllers up there. Put that up here. Oh, they like oh. that there. You just keep doing this. It's such a chill game. I really enjoy it. I like how there's no stress. <laughs> <laughs> You're curious about the weather today. It is freezing cold out here. I gave the turkeys a little uh, little corn and uh, decided to give them two today. Feeling generous. <laughs> this is my attempt to recreate yesterday's events here on my computer. I downloaded this thing called Launchbox, which has pretty much every arcade game ever made before. In fact, it's currently downloading the artwork for almost 3,000 games. So I thought it'd be really fun to try to play on this using one of my arcade sticks that I have. It took some work, but I got it. We got the controls going. How do you like it, buddy? It's good. There it is. That's kind of good. Does it feel like the arcade? Mm-hmm. I beat, I beat this guy's controller. Oh, got me. Oh, don't talk to him like that. <laughs> That's like what's going on outside. I can't have that memory. Get my evening sky shot in. Chickens in already. They're done. Oh, <laughs> coming back out. We're actually eating you right now. Sorry. Not you, but someone very much like you. There's our sky shot. Beautiful. And that is the end of Sunday. You settle down. Happy Monday morning. Today starts off with a little bit of video editing on our pink and purple mocks from yesterday. And Clark Man's up and he's over here working on a plan for the future Lego Minecraft table up in his room. I made a few sales on eBay over the weekend that I can be excited about. First thing I sold was this. 
Got an Xbox controller, sold that for $49. And the other thing I sold was this. We got this in the mail a really long time ago, and I am not going to use this for anything. It's a, it's a Chima set, and I sold that for $15. Somebody will get some good use out of that, and I could use the money for something else. Oh, yeah. Tea time. And biscuits. Mm -mm. Oh. <laughs> you dip in mine. You're like, dump, dump, dump. I'm like, dump, 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 dump. Cute is he. Have you ever seen anyone so stylish before? That's my question to you. So we got the Nike gloves, the Nike beanie. <laughs> And that, the winter vest, my, what, whatever it thing is, fleece, fleece and my delicious pants with a very beautiful sweatshirt underneath. You are going to be so hot today. <laughs> I'm wearing a zip up sweatshirt, which is unzipped, uh, shorts and flip flops. Are you, are you fle freezing? No, I'm all right. I'm, I'm only going to be out here for two minutes. You're going to be out playing at recess. <laughs> yeah, for 27 minutes. Wow, that's a very specific time. Have a great day. Did a quick little project here before we go to the gym. We did a bunch of my recent thumbnails to make them more visually appealing, if you will. The hardest part of YouTube is getting someone to actually click on your video, but once they're there, I feel like I have a good chance of winning them over. Did I win you over? I hope so. God, it's cold out here. We're going to the gym. Today's running day, apparently. That was my best run that I've ever done. Yeah. Which isn't, I mean, not great. I was proud of you. Thank you. Inspired by you, once more. Oh, you big baby. Oh, am I getting a smile? <laughs> I always record in case there's a smile. He's giving. Oh, I still don't think I got it. Look at that sunlight coming in on the boo. Big yawn. Amazon delivery time means it's time for a tech haul. This first thing that you see is a hub for my Mac mini. It's got all kinds of ports on it, but what's really great is it has a slot to put SSD. So I have a 500 gigabyte, basically external slash internal hard drive that's gonna connect up to that. So that'll give me a lot more storage space for uh, videos and things that I'm working on. Also, the thing that's more pricing, I got this USB mail to mail connector that I'm going to use for this because I've been having problems with this Legends Gamer. It won't seem to connect to uh, to this. So uh, this might fix the problem or it might not. It's my, it's like my only hope. I love this thing. I just had so many problems with it connecting and sometimes we'll go to play and I just can't get it to work. So it uses whatever time we have. Like we used to play before school and then sometimes I'll spend all that time just trying to get this darn thing to connect. It's Bluetooth, it connects wirelessly. As you can see there, it's flashing, trying to connect to this and it just it just doesn't. Assuming that it's a Bluetooth issue, my plan is to take that and plug that in there. I'm gonna take the other end and take out all of my extra games, at least just for now, and plug this in here, which I need, uh, I think I need both hands to do. Come on, baby. What the heck? It's now after four o'clock. And I'm working on this nightmare of a Cata build. I say nightmare because this step that I just got to is absolutely impossible to do, especially considering when you go down to this next step, it is, uh, you, you just, you, you can't do what they're trying to do here. So I'm trying to figure out how I can do it and how I can make it work with this next step. I'm doing this update because Clark Man just got home and I'm sure he'll be coming down and you can hear him probably. There's the man. That looks like a tractor now. It's starting to. I got a chair. Can I, Look, can, it even moves a little bit. Can, I, can I build the, something? It's so? a tricky one. Let me tell you that. One thing I don't like too. Look at that one tile right there. How dark that red is. You can tell that's not Lego quality. Mm -mm. Too dark. I tried the other one too that was in here. That one's the same way. Look how dark that one is compared to the rest of these pieces. Oh, where, where, where's this go? That's going to clickety-clack on the biggity back, right? Well, hold one second. I think we have to put some extra pieces on here. we got to put those on. Oh, okay. So I, I need three reds that. and a black. How is school? Good. No homey work? Woo. Yeah. I was hoping I could play some wobble life. We're going to be eating dinner here pretty quick. Move that back um, to, like, right there. And then we got to bring that down because we're making a fender, right? Mm -hmm. Does that look like a fender to you on a tractor? And luckily that piece is kind of hidden there too, which is good. I like it. 
Today I was steaming hot in the bus. I told you. Uh, to only when I wore home, I, I only wore my vest. Yeah. I no, and nothing else. Told you you were wearing that. I, and, and I wore my vest out. It was so cold. It was so cold, but I liked it. How these babies turn out? They kind of look like uh, hamburgers. Yeah. This kind of reminds me of that. This yeah. is a, a sauce. Tartar. Tartar sauce. Very here. nice. Thank you for making this. You're welcome. Tartar. How do you like it, buddy? Oh, it's <laughs> a little, little okay. Okay. Dinner's over, and Clark Man's going for a drive. Wee! Barely. Scruffy, where are you? Let's wait for Scruffy. <laughs> this game is so jank, dude. Tuesday. This burger's good. But gotta try some boys. Oh, is that a hamburger? Wait, because it say like I want it. <gasps> I'm try I'm making it look like it's like coming out, like they didn't cut cut it that properly. I tried to get that lettuce shape and I just love the lettuce shape. You did a nice so. job. First mock of the day. The great frost has gotten us. Yikes. Is your water frozen? Oh yeah, it is. Probably time to switch over to the bowl. <laughs> really wants to go. He's back at it. Come on, Scrap. Whee! I'm pretty sure you went through the slide. I think I done did something to my leg. It do be oh, hurting. No. Oh no. That's frost. That's snow. Hey. Frost is snow. Frost, snow, frost. potato, potato. <laughs> Can't wait for December to open the heavy calendar, but also get the sand out here in the snow. No, thank you. Is that what I think it is? No. 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 Okay. Hide in the bush. She hides. You have fun today. I love mm -hmm. you. Love you. Just like yesterday, today is gonna be a work day for me here in the studio, which I'm sure to you probably doesn't sound very exciting, but for me it is. In fact, I hit the ground running. I just filmed, edited, and about to upload a Lego video. This is a, actually a dual video. Taking advantage of something that I got last night from Walmart. Check this out, $25 for 1,500 Lego classic pieces. That's usually their Black Friday deal that they do, but in this case, I guess Black Friday is starting like two weeks early. So I, I bought that and I shared uh, that with the world and hopefully some other people get a chance to buy it as well. They sold uh, over a thousand of them yesterday, apparently. I'm finally eating my leftover Chinese food for lunch. Cody told me I need to get it out of there. So it's, uh, it's my last chance. Kung Pao chicken, very delicious. It probably feels like I don't move from this spot and it's partially true, but I did have some lunch and then I came down, shot another video, this time a haul video for my gaming channel of all places. I have a Nintendo 64 controller now and a Super Nintendo controller. These are for the Nintendo Switch Online and allow you to play your old vintage games as though they were originally meant to be played with the original controller. So very exciting in that regard. This is actually pretty hard to get, so I'm excited to have that. And I'm excited to finally have another gaming video out, even though it's not really gaming, it's just a haul video. Isn't this exciting being a content creator? Make videos about building stuff and unboxing things and doing deal videos. I might be the only one that really likes this, but I, I think it's a lot of fun, and this is kind of what I'm doing during my day. Next thing, I'm gonna turn these pieces into um, into that thing there. Holy smokes. It's snowing outside. I guess winter's coming for us, whether we like it or not, though, eh? You're probably wondering how I noticed it was snowing when I was sitting over here working on my set. Well, I got a little distracted. Instead, I was over here dreaming, dreaming big about what I could do with this space right here. As you can tell, it's, you know, just a bunch of Lego stuff, but I was like, what if I got like a, a system that had like two metal bars that go down here and then shelves that ran on there. This becomes a display piece or space for Lego. And then I move those pieces into these drawers under here and then add some of this to this side as well. This is just, this is like my childhood Lego and that's just a mess. So I could add 18 more drawers over here. And then we finish this out by lining the entire table up all the way down to the end where that TV is, plus going up higher. I think I could eliminate all of that storage right there and then put 
whole bunch of sets on display against the wall and it would look amazing. Plus alleviate some of my storage room concerns. I think I'm on to something here. So I'm gonna do a little bit of research online, figure out what I can get and then make this happen. So you'll be able to come back to this video and be like, oh, that's what it looked like? That's terrible. How it looks now is like so amazing. That was a great idea, Greg. Hope so. I think this is what I'm gonna go with. I've got three of these wall strips. Then I've got nine of these hangers. I've got three shelves, and all together, that's only $121.20. Compared to two of these, which is basically the same size, I think this was more than double that. It's sort of going to be like that, only mine will have white shelves on it to fit my style down here. And I think that'll be real nice, because then I can move them up and down however I see fit, depending on how tall the Lego sets get. In other news, the snow keeps coming down. It's getting pretty legit out there. It's hard to believe that it was 60 degrees just a few days ago. Welcome to Pennsylvania. Oh my goodness, she's snow dog. She likes it. It had a lovely lavender dog sweater. Don't I you almost, dare. I almost got it. Don't you dare. They had an extra large. She says no. <laughs> I've got a new operation going here. Just trying something out. Organizing all of these single wides. It, it's therapeutic. God dang, that's cold woman. Close that door. Ah, oh, bear, bear. <laughs> Love bug. How's my handsome dude? What are you doing? Organizing. We were getting points. Mm. And then we lost all of our points. Oh no. For for, for for our Thanksgiving little fun thing on Friday where we bring in food and stuff. What did you guys do to lose all your points? So the first day she gave us one point yesterday, and then today we got one for doing so good at spring math. Dead Jackson took away the one point that we earned, and then we're doing this math problem. Nobody knew what it was, and then she took away the first point. So then we had zero points left. We only had two. Wow. We only, you only have one job to do. That's what I was saying to your mom. Look at this. I love it. Our pumpkins. They don't even have faces anymore. Oh my god. Ready? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I got tomato soup on my shirt, so we had to have a wardrobe change, but I did finish my job. Got all of my single wide plates all put away. And I like the look of that. It's now majorly nighttime out and we've got some decent snowfall out there. Chickions are in for the night. And that's where we're going to wrap things up. It's not even 6 a.m. Tuesday morning. And... It's Wednesday. Oh, it's Wednesday? Yeah. Okay, it's Wednesday now. <laughs> it's almost 6 a.m. on Wednesday. And I've recruited Clark Man to my job here. Where we're putting all of the double wide plates into colored bins. And then I'm sorting these babies out of here to give us more bins. Because we're going to need big ones for this operation. Ah! I should say Clark does a lot more playing than actual sorting. But... And he's already taken a break, but he's doing a good job. I'm not taking a break. You did take a break, remember? I, I did. <laughs> I'm back We're... to work again. <laughs> Thank you for being my best employee, Clark, man. I'm the best employee. No, you're getting employee of the month status. <laughs> you're going to get the award. What Great. do you think you should get for employee of the month? What do you, would you want to get for that? Um, hot dogs. Hot dogs. I can do that. Hot dogs. All right, you get a hot dog for being employee of the month here at Brick Tech Industries. My helper has vanished, but I did finish the job and I got all of these double wides all sorted out. And it is so satisfying to see that because they were all in here, completely heaped. And now I can find everything very easily. I just need to get some new drawers. Like these big ones are gonna be the way because these are like, they're already overflowing. So uh, yeah, need some more drawers. Also found some little mysterious stuff in there that shouldn't be there, and I did that last night too, so the collection is getting cleaned up as well. Somehow things sneak through on occasion. The churkions are like, nope, not coming out today. Everything is melting off though, as you can probably hear. Today's the day that they're supposedly coming to put our shutter on. I'll believe that when I see it. I knew you were going to go in there. You know we can't resist. That's a good snowman snow because it's really watery. Big fails. Big fails. Okay. 
I love you. Have a wonderful day. Thanks for getting me all snowy. The big plan for today is gym and then come home, edit a Greg's World video so you guys have something to watch last week. And then I'd like to list some things on eBay and then finish that darn tractor set that I was supposed to finish yesterday. So that's, that's the plan. We got a little blue sky creeping out up there. I like that. A lot of soreness here on the side of my leg. Plan of fitness! Lateral side, yes. Thank you, doctor. Oh, it hurts. I quit, I'm done. Just kidding, I'm not. Day two of, will they put the shutters up? There's Boo Bear. I talked to the guy on Friday night. He said he'd come here Wednesday at 3.30. I don't have much faith, Roxy Bear. Merry Christmas. My Brickitech gift exchange items here. My flannel is here. Nice. Ooh, that is thick. That is thick. That's a beauty. Wow. Inside, quilted. Oh, so nice. Perfect fit. I love it. I can't show you the gift exchange items that I got, but I can show you the gift that I got for myself. This is the Aston Martin Speed Champion set. And I got a deal on this because I made some other orders on there and they were like, would you like a gift card for adding this? And I'm like, yes, I would. And these cars are gorgeous, especially that one. Just finished editing the vlog. Really happy with how this turned out. That was a fun little shopping experience. It's currently uploading to YouTube and it'll be ready to go in 18 minutes. I would say my next biggest priority today is to get things listed on eBay. I love to list like five items, but before I can do that, I need some table space. So we gotta finish this plow thing and get it on the tractor. And then I guess tomorrow I'll make a video reviewing this, but this needs done. I'd probably be sick to my stomach if I actually knew how many hours I spent on this but my Cata tractor is finally done and it looks incredible. That plow, that part that I built just now was a nightmare, super repetitive. You can see like all these things that I put on the side. Holy smokes, that was something else, but I'm glad to have that done. It looks great. I'm not gonna test it right now. I'm saving that for a video that I'm making for my Lego channel and that's gonna be a tomorrow project. So I'm excited to uh, finally have this and have it knocked out. Good news, bad news. I got a message from the shutter guy, which is good news, they called. Bad news is they rescheduled it. For next Tuesday, wants to put all this stuff together on like a, a day where the weather's a little nicer and the silicone that they're gonna be putting on there will adhere better, supposedly. So I'm like, all right, whatever, at least they called. Uh, but we're gonna go another week. <laughs> it's just like, ah. Oh, sorry guys. These guys are like, stop talking to the camera and beat us. Got some goodies in here, I guess. Look at all that. Luckily the shutter thing is not like a big priority, but it's definitely been a big annoyance. Hello, Tom. Goodness. Hey, can you go to the garage door? I just opened it. Chill, it's your boy. Yes, are you parents home? Oh, because the garage door was closed? Yeah. Sorry about that. Mom was supposed to open it, but she failed. I'm kidding. That. When will this end? Dinner? Welcome to another episode of Grilling with Greg. Uh, just your pretty standard episode here with uh, flames and steaks. <laughs> I'm wrapping it for the night, but before I go, I want to show a little surprise that I found. These were in with my old toys and things. This is a sealed... 75002, the original 501st battle pack, I guess. And uh, this is what I wish Lego could do. This is a Kinex set, but I'm gonna make a video about this. Kind of being like, Lego, why can't you make Mario? Why can't you do that? And I also found this as well. This is a series nine CMF. And I think we're on what, series 22 right now? Yeah, oh, series 23. So that's uh, from a while ago, and I think I'm gonna make a video on each of these things just for fun. But that's for another day. See you guys tomorrow. This Thursday starts very early with some video editing. Not only that, but I have a special guest with me here who has come across a collection of Hot Wheels and Matchbox that I've had for like the last 10 years. I was gonna do like a video on these guys. Yeah, they were in a tote, and I was like, well, I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. So maybe there's a guy that could use a couple more for his collection. All right, you guys ready for this? Let me take a look at it. Oh, 
It's a good one. Here, I'll let you open it. It's what you call a mini Koopa. I have these in green. Oh, I love the green. I have the green one. We also have one over there. Now you have one in blue. That's a Matchbox. That's a Porsche. It looks, it looks so similar to this one, though. This is a Hot Wheels. Oh, yeah. That's what I was going to do. I was going to do a video comparing the quality of Matchbox and Hot Wheels on the same exact car. Why don't we do that? Yes. Okay, go ahead and open it up. We're doing this in, like, the weirdest spot. I just had these on the... The stairs here, because I was going to take them up to Clark, I'm but... I'm going to put these up here so no one he... out in the shot. Okay. What about this, though? We've got, uh, we've got a creature here. Bear, could I just get, like, one inch of personal space here? Could, could we do that? we got Bear laying down. <laughs> All right, so who did it better, Hot Wheels or Matchbox? I think the Hot Wheels one is the win. I like the fact that it does have, like, the, the emblem there, and it's got the headlights. That makes a big difference, and... Uh, I think the wing's nicer, too. So I'm going to go Hot Wheels is, is a better product than Matchbox. Finally made this video that I was going to make in, like, 2013, before Clark Nail was even born. Made it when he was seven. Hot Wheels versus Matchbox. Hot Wheels leading the way. You can open up all those other ones. I got those at a grocery store a long time ago trying to uh, get some cool Hot Wheels before you were even along. And You try, you try get me? Yeah, I got... Oh, I was going to compare these ones, too. This is the El Camino from Chevy, and this is the Ranchero from Ford. So they're kind of like... Uh, yeah, they do look... They're, like they're similar, but of different yeah. companies. Here's our comparison between the El Camino and the Ranchero. I think I'm digging the the Ranchero better. I like that metal back on there. This one's, this one's plastic. I like that. It looks more premium, I think. I like this one better. This one? Mm -hmm. Yeah, me too. Let's check out the station wagon. Mm -hmm. How does the station wagon compare to these two guys? I definitely like the color of that one the these best. These guys can both carry it. Yeah. I think this is probably my favorite of the bunch. It just looks so cool. It's like a low rider station wagon. Pretty darn cool. <laughs> and then we got the Porsches coming in. That's the collection. Bunch of Hot Wheels with one imposter. <laughs> oh my God, our neighbors have a giant. Nutcracker thing out there. <laughs> I can't even hold the camera because I'm so cold. <laughs> there he is. Oh. Okay, you settle down. <laughs> Get over here. I love you. You have a wonderful day. I'm going inside. I didn't film it because I'm so violently angry, but we just spent like the last half an hour trying to get air in the tires of this truck. Stopped at one place, paid $2, out of service. Went to the next place, out of service. Went to this place, waited 20 minutes for a guy to put air into his one tire, and then I spent 20 minutes putting air into our tire. So we're like an hour deep. It wasn't 20 minutes. It felt like it. It was like, eight, <sighs> it was eight minutes, calm down. I continue to get screwed over. FedEx guy's like, let me just leave the truck here. I'm gonna take these boxes in. I am the most impatient person there probably ever was, but my God. Just for like simple things. Everything that I do in life seems to take all kinds of time. Look, even this lady with the walker, she's making out better than we are. <laughs> I'm gonna go take my frustration out on the gym. Please do. And then talk to me. Take care of my car. I take care of your belly. <laughs> what nutritious food? Not to mention, my birthday gift was supposed to be you can eat inside of my truck. Oh, we're getting into this here? We're getting into this here? Wow. How's your anger level now? Are you calm? Fine. Are you calm down? You were just irritating ma me. Ma'am, ma'am, calm down. I got angry. You know what's gonna make our day better? Getting groceries? Yes. Oh. Cookies? We just went to the gym. Cookies though? No, no. I mean, no. Yeah. Gotta pick up the slack for these churkeyons that aren't laying at all. Little jerks. Got Cody's beer too. Huh. For her beer. Yeah. Groceries acquired. Look at this little sh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> you're a little weasel. <laughs> Think you're real funny, don't you? <laughs> Look at all those bumper stickers. There's a baby. Hi. This is my life right now. Mixed vegetables on the knee. Today, I have to edit. I just filmed my tractor video that I finished yesterday. I did the video review of it today and that was quite the doozy. 
Uh, so I'm gonna edit all that footage up and turn it into what I hope to be a pretty good video. I don't know what's going off my phone, but it seems like the microphone's having some issues. My tractor review though is done and I'm excited to have that finished. That was actually a really good video, 12 minutes and one second long. I really botched today by not being productive. I still would like to do my podcast, three questions. I have to answer these three. I'd like to get that done. Clark man literally just walked in the door. So we'll see if I can crank that out. My podcast is done. All is right with the world. I am so excited about this. Oh, I know a way you can do this. What? Do you want me to help you make it better after dinner? Yeah. So yeah. we got my imposter with little legs looking cute as a button with his little imposter knife. Do you think people know what the imposter is from? Almost. So starting a new project right now. Before we watch Lego Masters, which is how I'm going to end my night, sorting through all of this. And uh, there's a lot more. I got to get that uh, box out of here because it's been sitting on the floor and uh, pieces sorted for future projects. We got a sick Clark man home today on this Friday, the last day before Thanksgiving break. He's working a little bit of artwork here as his fever comes down. <laughs> Happy birthday, Landon. This is one of the times that one of your Minecraft cards actually works because Landon's gonna know what all of those things are. Apparently, since everyone's getting sick, including Clark Ma'am, I have to do this thing with zinc. Has to go under my tongue. Mm -hmm. How For long? 30 seconds. <laughs> okay. It's not that bad. You know I'm a big baby. It's much easier than uh, drinking that apple cider vinegar stuff. I'm an enormous baby. One, two, Four. Roxy, you're cool. down here. Can you count on your own? Uh, <laughs> yeah, hang on, guys. I'm hang on, guys. So, guys, I'm over here editing your video right now. One of the last clip. Look at that. It's Chinese food. So delicious. It's ending our video because it's like four days in a row. She can come down if you want to. Show. Come on, Boomer! She was threw up down here last night, so I said she was kicked out forever. Yeah. But I I came back on that today. Because you my barber. Has it been 30 seconds yet? Don't throw up down here. This stuff honestly wasn't that bad. Probably helped that I had some iced coffee right before. Not bad. But I am excited to have this video out. Right now, I have a couple more clips actually. Right now, 26 minutes. That's a nice video. If you didn't watch it, you better go back. It's going to be the one like before this. <laughs> Just go back and watch. I don't even know what it's called. It's, it's, it's like a week in my life. Speaking of a week in my life, I'm a little worried about this week's video. This week has been like pretty crappy. I haven't done anything exciting. It's just been me working down here doing stuff the entire week. The weather turned cold. It's been snowing. I have all kinds of excuses, but I'm just like kind of bummed. Plus yesterday, like my phone, I had to change the audio settings because now iOS did an update and it's not capturing the microphones the way that was before. So all the audio from yesterday is just completely doinked. And uh, yeah, I'm kind of bummed, but I did accomplish a lot. It just like, isn't exciting. So no zero days still exists. It's just like not amazing fun stuff like that you'd probably want to see. But I get a lot of people saying that they like just the day-to-day -day things. And this is like my day-to-day -day life. This is what I do for work. So um, yeah. I'm going to finish this. <laughs> Let me know what you think about the new audio. It's uh, stereo, so you'll be able to hear me on both sides, which should sound kind of coolish. I didn't really like it that much, though, especially when you zoom in, because then it uh, zoom in on Clark's Chinese food. Can we get another shot of all the times to pause the video? It probably sounds a little different. Oh, there's my Kung Pao chicken. Oh, so good. How you doing, Beebs? Good. Clark's new favorite show. These goofballs. Welcome to Greg's Repairs, fixing this piece of this lamp. They sent this old one to us without one of these things on there, which was a real problem. So we waited like three months and they finally got it to us. This is, this is what it's ultimately gonna look like over there. Just kind of hide that cord back there and job complete. Looks good. Look at this still out here. Not cool. I do have some chooky chook snack time though. Assuming I don't fall down these stairs. Crocs definitely make great off-road shoes. It's a little ridiculous out here with the wind today. Not a fan, but it is warming up a little bit. Some granola cereal. And some cheese. 
Next order of business is going on an eBay listing spree. I already got these two things listed. It's a Power Rangers trading card box. And then I've got these Nintendo playing cards listed. All good there. Somehow I acquired a bunch of Nintendo DS games that I have never played. I think I got these from a yard sale. Uh, there's a Nintendo DS in here. I might actually keep some of this. I'm going to go through this and see what I what I want and what I don't want. There's obviously some games in there as well. And then these are from my personal collection. Again, I might keep those. I don't know. And then I got these at yard sales too, at least some of them. And I know these ones for sure are worth some big money. Probably worth more to someone else than they are to me. Mario Party is uh, it's a game that's loved amongst people. I don't know if people are still collecting, but I know uh, GameCube is a pretty big deal. And I have Mario 4, 5, 6, and 7. Got those all from one yard sale. I have no idea how much they were. I wish the price was on them because it was probably just almost nothing. All of this stuff's been coming out of this tote, which has just a few things left in it. These things I've determined are not worth selling. This I bought for $2. Doesn't even work. And I've held on to it all these years. That's a shame. I bought this at a yard sale for, I think, like a dollar. And this is on HBO Max, so I don't need Harry Potter. I'm going to donate that. And P90X... Cody used to do it all the time, find this at a yard sale. And at one point it was worth something, now worth nothing. So I'm going to donate that as well. I just want to get this tote cleared out. It's either going to be on eBay or donated or thrown away in some cases. How are you feeling, bubs? Good. Headache's gone. That's good. Okay. I've got good news and bad news on the GameCube Mario Parties. The good news is they go for some good money, about $50 each. Bad news, none of these are complete except for one. They miss in the manual. And the other really bad news is that these discs, I don't know if you can really see it or not. Let me see if I can get right in there. They are just awful. They're in awful condition. Can I even show it? Look at that. Get you right in there to see just the... I don't even know if that's going to play. I should probably test these just to see, but uh, as a result of that, <laughs> I'm not going to be selling these. I'll just keep them for my collection and geez, maybe I'll have to resurface them or do something to them because how does that even happen? Like what which must have been like sliding across the floor in these, like they're roller skates or something like that. I don't know. That's just, that's terrible. Really unfortunate when these were kind of picked up as an investment. I got something we can share. Oh, I got something we can share too, where you can actually have Nintendo DS with a whole bunch of games here that you might like. Hot Wheels, Hot Wheels. Hot Wheels, Track Attack. There's Cars 2, Cars race rama and uh, Rudolph. Perfect timing for that, but even better. Look at that, Mario Kart DS. <laughs> and then a whole bunch of stuff here, including uh, another one that you might like. Well, yeah, there's a pets game, but this one you might like. Monster Jam Path of Destruction. Ooh. It's going to be like Christmas down here for you because these are a whole bunch of stuff in here that I was going to review for my toy channel that I had way back in the day that I actually did, but... Here's a boot Lego. It's now my uh, podcast channel. Or no, it's my gaming channel now. It was a toy channel, then it became a gaming channel. What do you think of that? It's a Decepticon. I like to suit. How dare you put me in this bin? He's been there for almost 10 years. <laughs> there is uh, some connects in here. Connects? Yeah. Oh, there's a, there's a Hot Wheels that we missed, too. And then there's... Um... Adventure Time. Jake and Finn. These guys come together. Yeehaw! They're actually more friends than, than rival. Uh, that's BMO. I'm a, I am a Game Boy. Yay! Anything that you don't want out of here, I'm going to donate. So go through this wisely and figure out what you want. You listening? Yes. Anything you want, pick out of here. So I may have gotten a little into this game called Brain Age, and it turns out that my brain is a little old. It's 44, so I've got to practice and work that number down. I'm definitely doing better than Krista, Kelly, and Riley, though. 80 years old? Come on, guys. This is going to be a wrap for me today. I'm pretty tired, and... The place is a giant mess. It actually looks like I went backwards today rather than forwards, but I am making progress on my goals, which is to get organized and to sell stuff on eBay. And I'm doing those, but sometimes you gotta, you know, break some eggs to make an omelet. That's kind of what's happened here. And pretty much this whole week, this whole week was a broken egg. I'm gonna go grab some dinner and I will see you tomorrow for another No Zero Days episode. <laughs>